New clues in the manhunt for Brian Laundry, the boyfriend of Gabby Petito who vanished just days before her body was recovered. Police are now investigating a phone Laundry brought before he disappeared, and Victor Akendo is in Miami Beach, Florida with the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. We are learning more about the timeline, but all of this new information leads to even more questions. Like, why did Brian Laundrie need that new phone? And why did he go camping with his parents just days after returning home without Gabby Petito? Two weeks into the urgent search for Brian Laundrie, we're learning new details about what he was doing the days before he went missing. After returning home on September 1st without his girlfriend, Gabby Petito, Laundrie purchased a new cell phone at an AT&T store in Northport. The family's attorney would not say why Brian needed the new phone or what, if anything, happened to his old phone, but says that phone is now in FBI custody. The FBI also now in possession of surveillance video from the Laundrie family camping trip at Fort DeSoto Park. Brian and his parents spent three days at this campground in Pinellas County, Florida over Labor Day weekend. Apparently, they were at the campground when we were there, and they were right next to us. This Fort Myers family, who stayed in the adjacent campsite, possibly the last to see the laundries all together. They kept to themselves. They were there, and then they weren't. The couple taking a closer look at their photos taken, one selfie capturing this. The man walking in the background who they believe could possibly be Brian. All this just days before Petito would be reported missing. If somebody I knew was missing, I wouldn't be going camping. The Laundry family attorney says that Brian's parents did not help him flee. There was a federal warrant for Brian Laundry's arrest. Michael.